Good morning, Sunday Club, and welcome to Sunday Morning from my bedroom. So, it's been a bit of a weird, crazy week, hasn't it? And this is something that's never happened before. We've never not had church. So I thought instead of us missing out on the Sunday Club completely, why don't I bring it to you in your bedrooms, in your kitchens, in your living rooms, wherever you might be. And I thought we could still meet together, but virtually. So yeah, it's been a bit of a mad week. There's a lot of things in the news about the coronavirus going round. Our parents might be working from home. You guys have been let off school. Yeah, you should still be working um, at home, <laughs> catching up on your schoolwork as well. But it might be providing you with a bit of panic, a bit of anxiety, and you might be feeling worried. And don't worry. It's okay to worry. It's perfectly normal, in fact. In Sunday Club, we like to discuss things um, and what they mean to us, what might be going on. So if you are with someone right now, why don't you just talk to them a little bit about what worry means to you? And if you're by yourself, just jot it down on a piece of paper. So worry for me is when you're not expecting something and then my mind can start going, what if this happens? What if that happens? And that might be something we're feeling right now. What happens if we're going to be stuck at home for the next year? <laughs> Which I'm sure won't happen, so don't panic about that. But God expects us to worry. God knows this happens. In fact, it's even written about in the Bible. So if you do have your Bibles to hand, I'd like you to turn to Matthew. Now, I know at Sunday Club we normally have races to see who can get there first, but I'll give you a little clue. Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. So if we could go there, and then if we can go to Matthew number six, and turn your page, and then there's a bit in the Bible actually called Don't Worry. So I'm going to read a little bit of it to you now. So I tell you, don't worry about the food you need to live. And don't worry about the clothes you need for your body. Life is more important than food. And the body is more important than clothes. Look at the birds in the air. They don't plant or harvest or store food in barns. But your heavenly father feeds the birds. And you know that you are worth much more than birds. And then this is an important bit. You cannot add any time to your life by worrying. And then it goes on to how God looks after the flowers. And then I'd just like to end at the final bit. So this is number 33, verse 33. The thing you should want the most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. Then all these other things you need will be given to you. So then it says, it actually says this, it says, don't worry about tomorrow. Each day has enough trouble of its own and tomorrow will have its own worries. So that might be a bit confusing because here in the Bible, it says worries will happen, but yet it's saying, don't worry. So what I really would like you to take away from this is verse 33, when it says, the thing you should want the most is God's kingdom and doing what God wants. But what is it that God wants? Well, we know from other studies here at Sunday Club, here at Sunday Club and in the Bible, that God just wants us to love our neighbour. But how can we do that when we're just stuck at home? Well, it's easy. There's loads of things you can do. And today it is Mother's Day. So one way to love your neighbour is by loving your mum, who is in fact your neighbour. Why don't you help her with cooking tea? Or you could even just tidy your bedroom or offer to do the dishes. That's one way to love someone. The other thing you could do is call an elderly relative or perhaps if you've got a video capability like me, you could message them over the internet and actually see their face. And if you're feeling well enough to go outside, 
You could go outside and deliver flowers to people or even write and make your own cards. That's bound to put a smile on somebody's face. It's also a fun thing to do. So that's one way how we can do what God wants. But if you are still feeling worried, what can we do about that? Well, you can turn this worry into hope and into trust. And how we can do that is by turning our worries into prayers. So if you have got some paper to hand, I've got some nice yellow paper here. If you could just take it and fold it up for me. So you get to, so it's like this. And then just cut it so you've got separate pieces like this. And these are going to be our prayer cards. So all I want you to do now is to grab a pen, like I've got. This is a pen. <laughs> it's a fluffy pen. So grab a pen and then on this piece of paper, I'd like you to just write a prayer. And then when you've written your prayer, two like this, they look like doors. And now we're going to go into the bathroom. So what you need to do is fill your sink up or your bathtub up or a big bowl of water up with water. Then place your prayer. I have actually just changed the colour of my paper to white because it just does just work better. There's a bit thicker piece of paper. Then place your prayer on the water. And, oh, there was a big drop there. It might not work. <laughs> is it working? Oh, yeah. And you can see the doors of our prayer is opening up and being listened to by God as our prayers go up to God. So back in my bedroom now and that was just a little prayer activity that you can do with your friends, with your family, over the phone, over video like this. Do it whenever you're feeling worried. Turn that worry into trust into hope and God will listen, just like the paper unfolding. Something else that we can do, so we're all members of church but we're all at home in different places. You could make a human paper chain. So uh, how we do that is like this, you need to draw a little, well first of all you need to fold again, fold the paper, um, so fold it like this and then like this and then in half again so you'll end up looking like that and then on the edge this is a very wonky one <laughs> but on the edge draw the shape of a person uh, make sure that the closed bits have got the arms attached to it if you are a rubbish drawer like me, there are templates online to just ask an adult to print them out for you. So once you have it drawn, then you just need to cut around. And then once you unfold the paper, you'll get something like this. In fact, you'll get two of them. And what you can do is then draw on them a bit like what I've done. Why don't you get a bit creative? You could draw people from church who you might not be seeing. You could draw your friends. You could draw your family. And it's just for you to know that we are all connected. Even though we are not together, we are still connected through God. And if you look even closer, oh, the bits that join us even make a little heart shape. That's a nice little thought. And if you do have extras, who can make the longest one? You can even staple them together and make really, really long people chains. Imagine if we could make one so long that it went around the world. There's a little task for you. But now, just to close our little virtual Sunday club, let's end in prayer like we normally do. Why don't you take your paper chains for this? So, join me in prayer. Close your eyes and just take a minute. Dear Lord, we do worry and we are worried about what is happening, but we know to take each day as it comes and we know to put our trust in you. 
And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for everything you do for us. And we know that you will look after us in these difficult times. We pray for our world, your world, that we'll be able to look after it. We pray that we'll listen to the government and do what they tell us. And hopefully one day this will all be over, Lord. But for now, we remain not to worry and we put our trust in you. Amen. Well, thank you, everybody. Um, hopefully we'll be back next week virtually uh, but we will let you know in the meantime but take care of yourselves be good for mum and dad and look after yourselves see you soon Bye.